Hey guys, welcome back to Warner Farms. So today, uh, I'm in the 4630 today, and uh, we're drilling uh, rye cover crop. So the reason why we're out drilling this field over at the river, uh, it's just going to be this Justice 80, uh, is just because uh, we were going to have it spread, but our thought is, is that this ground is very sandy up here, so we figure if we ran the vertical till across it uh, after it was spread to work the rye in, uh, it would blow uh, just in case that there was some high winds and it would blow. So, and there are a lot of houses, including a church right beside us. So uh, we figure it'd be in our best interest just to drill it. So as you can see earlier, we did have wheat seed in it. Uh, we were planting some or we did plant a dry corner uh, on one of our irrigated fields because eventually, I believe, if things work out, we're going to put alfalfa there uh, on that dry corner. But since we had some wheat left, we figure this is probably the worst part of this farm, that little sand triangle-ish, if you want to call it a triangle. And we figure if we just plant wheat there instead of corn, the wheat would do a lot better than the corn, and plus that'd do that ground some good. So we'll actually leave that more than likely, uh, depending on what we decide to do in the spring. And we'll combine that in the summer, uh, depending on if we decide to just leave it as a cover crop. But anyways, we do still have some wheat left in the drill. I went ahead and filled it with uh, the rye, and we'll just drill out whatever we have left of the wheat and we'll just incorporate that into the cover crop out here so just this 80 uh the 60 the 25 and the 120 ish over yonder um that'll all be spread and worked in with the vertical till so that's about 220 acres over there so, and then there's 80 just across the river and some back by the farm yet so anyways i'll go ahead and set the drill and uh get to work
So we really don't know if it is going to rain or not today. They're t the radio and the news is saying no. That's not going to be till later tonight, but it looks like it's going to be here around 3 o'clock. I think about right now it's about 1, 1 1.30. So I'm going to see how much I can get done until it really starts raining hard, and then I'll flip. Um, should be able to do at least eight more rounds, I would say. Then I'll have to check it again, and I'll have to go back up and fill up at some point when I get about halfway here. So... If anything, we're going to try and clean this out as best as we can because all of this from here on north is all going to be vertical tilled and uh, spread with brine and vertical tilled in. So I would really like to have a cedar of some sort on the back of the vertical till. That'd be real nice. Like, I don't know, Great Plains has like a turbo cedar, I think it's called. Or I know Salford and Valmar partnered together. They have a... Uh, uh, Valmar Cedar so anyways uh, I'll let you guys go and keep drilling
Are you gonna pick those ends off down there? You can see plans for my afternoon completely changed and dad got done picking uh, the 40 acres of down corn. Not really too bad at down corn, just more that he had to slow down to about two and a half to three and a half mile an hour to pick it. Not fun, but uh, it was either I pick it or he picks it and he decided he was going to pick it and I was going to go drill rye. So. He got done with that early, so I got about half that field done. There's only about 40, 45 acres left over there at the river. And uh, we moved over to in front of our house and uh, opened up where the plot is. Uh, we may, depending on the weather, may pick that maybe this weekend. Um, just trying to get the rest of this field opened up and I think we may or may not call it quits depending on uh, what the weather looks what the weather uh, weather looks like uh, so uh, otherwise I guess uh, we're picking corn That's pretty good. I can't hardly believe it. Well, especially for how dry this got. Just sit here. Okay. Might as well shut it off. So many of you are probably wondering uh, how far along we are on harvest just because I haven't done a full harvest vlog and I haven't really done a vlog since we've started harvest. Um, we are currently done with soybeans. We've gotten those done oh, about three weeks ago, um, except for double crop, which as you can see across the road, those are for the most part ready to go uh we haven't tried them yet uh actually we were wanting to start them today but as you can see the weather is not really cooperating and plus we didn't realize we had a little bit of down corn and we'd rather pick that before uh we combine uh the double crop soybeans so we have about 120 acres of double crop beans uh 60 acres there and 60 acres uh, a little bit north uh, west of us here so uh, so the beans are basically done except for double crop then uh, corn I think we're floating around the 300 mark now left 300 acres left um, still have the test plot to do obviously behind me um, like I said maybe this weekend we'll get to that uh, but otherwise um, we're slowly making progress on getting the rest of the cover crop seeded. Um, working on uh, possibly next week we'll be uh, vertical tilling the rest of the river over there along with uh, working in some more rye on some of our other fields. Um, but otherwise uh, that's basically what's been going on. Um, the two bean fields, uh, the back field back over there, that's about 48 acres and the field over by that white building over there that incorporates the rest of that 143 sitting in front of me, that is not our corn. Uh, I think that's about a 38, 35 acre field, maybe even a 40. That's not ours. Um, we did get all the wheat planted. Actually, I finished up basically the last of the wheat today, what you saw earlier. Uh, as you can see, some of our wheat's already up and has been up for about, oh, just about a month actually. So, um, otherwise, uh, 
basically the rest of the cover crop except for the 45 acres I have left to drill over there at the river is going to be vertical tilled in. Um, otherwise, that's basically it. Um, nothing too exciting except uh, depending on what the weather does here, uh, we may or may not continue picking. It just depends on... If it looks like it's going to keep raining, then I guess we'll just pick the semis and the auger wagon here full and call it quits. But uh, we're not sure if we're going to haul this right in or if we're going to dry it. I think it's floating around that 15-16% mark, so pretty borderline. So we'll see. Also, while I'm thinking of it, yes, the building is done uh, as of... Oh, a probably two weeks ago a week and a half ago two weeks ago they got the building done um basically what farm builders has to do except uh put the doors on uh, well the garage doors they have to come back and put the uh doors that we have ordered um which were on back order until november 6 so the garage doors we also found out will be available to be put up on November 6th as well. So um, they'll be coming out and putting the garage doors on and farm builders will be coming back out and putting the entrance doors back or the entrance doors on. Uh, we replaced the front doors on the shed, um, the entrance doors um, with half doors or well, not really half doors or like doors with half glass in the top of them which is i wasn't really sure what i was going to think of them and i actually kind of like them uh the back door back by where the welding bench is uh, on the back of the shed there or back of the shop i should say um that's going to have a new door which i've been wanting for about a year now because the door handle seems to be uh not working as well as what it should and the door is pretty well aged bad so that'll be nice to have a new door there um but otherwise uh that's basically it for farm builders um any hiccups so far this harvest yes uh if you follow me on instagram you probably saw that we broke the shaker arm or part of the shaker arm on the combine on the left side so we got that fixed oh monday or tuesday of this week today's october 26 friday so um anything else uh the or the top cushion box on the top of the north holding bin uh we ended up having to be or half having that be replaced because there was a hole war in it when we started running corn out uh when we were uh, moving the rest of the old crop out uh, to make room for this year's corn. Um, since we only had about 15 loads, I think, that we needed to get cleaned out there in like August and September. So uh, we saw that and we had Hotch Chatlers come out and replace the uh, top cushion box and uh, the the auger box underneath the uh north holding bin also had a whole whole war in it which we knew about just we didn't know how severe it was and <laughs> dad had duct tape on it last year so there was a whole war in it last year and we were hoping that we could make it through this season and replace it after harvest well dad had to run out to napanee from to to Hodge Jettlers and get a box and we ended up replacing that um that's basically it except uh uh I think on the south holding bin that auger the auger that the, the load auger underneath the south holding bin the bearings going out so uh after harvest we're gonna have to replace that that load auger loads the dryer as we have both the north and the south holding bins uh set up to uh store wet corn so really those are wet tanks that load um the dryer so once one gets empty it automatically switches over to say either the north or the south one depending on which one it emptied and henceforth keeps filling the dryer so uh 
otherwise uh that uh 60 acres in front of me will be getting cover crop eventually because that is in the cover crop program so that will be vertical tilled in with rye um oh there's a triangle field back over there that is going to be vertical tilled in with rye as well and anywhere that we're going to put corn on corn since we're going to stay a little bit heavy on corn next year again um just because of the way the markets are looking again so uh we're going to be trying to incorporate rye uh out in those fields since we're already running the vertical till across those fields to size the residue up to uh help speed up the process of uh incorporating the residue back into the soil then the decomposition of the residue so uh otherwise that's basically it and it looks like dad's getting making his way back up here so i'll find out exactly what we're going to do then
we're gonna go ahead and quit. I'm tarping all the trucks in the green cart right now. Uh, we're gonna take these two loads up to Union tomorrow. And, because uh, today, uh, it looks like uh, we really don't know what the radar is really doing. Uh, if it's gonna rain, if it's not gonna rain, I may or may not potentially go back over to the river and potentially get most of that knocked out, if not possibly, depending on what the weather does, uh, all of it knocked out. So that'll be good if I can do that, but now it feels like it's raining. So I don't know, depending on what goes on, that may or may not happen tonight. If not, tomorrow morning, I'll get up and do that. So. Anyways, thank you guys for watching. I know this is kind of an all over the place vlog. Um, I did get monetized, so I will be picking up the pace on these. I know many of you guys are asking me if I was monetized or not. So, otherwise, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.